Welcome to Electro Online. Here we have a circuit which I call a delta to y imposter. Of course, not an official term, just my term that I use. But the reason why I wrote that is sometimes a circuit will look like a delta to y conversion is the only thing that can help us find the equivalent resistance. And here is something that looks like it may be uh, requiring one of those delta to y conversions. So you may be very uh, tempted to do something like this. Uh, let me convert this to something like that. But the answer is that is really not the right thing to do. Don't do that. The reason is that the circuit in itself, by redrawing it, we can very easily find the equivalent circuit, and this may give you something that's much more difficult to solve. Matter of fact, what you would be doing here is you would actually be turning something that is easy to solve and something that's difficult to solve because then you would turn this portion of the circuit into a bridge circuit, which is very difficult to solve, and we don't want to do that. Instead, just go ahead and eliminate that. Do not try to do that. Just look at the existing circuit and see how we can actually solve it without doing that conversion. First of all, you can see that those two resistors, they are in parallel because they each share a node on both ends of the resistor. We can redraw this in such a way that it looks a little bit different. So let's try that. We have our, let's mark the connectors A and B. These connectors A and connector B. What we're going to do here is realize that R1 and R2 are actually in parallel because they share a node over here and they share a node over there. And likewise, R2 and R4 are in parallel because they share a node over there and they share a node over here. So at the very least, you can redraw the circuit as follows. and have those come back together. So this would be resistors R1 and R3. And then again, over here, we can do it again. And this would be resistor R2 and R4. And we know how to deal with it in that format. We can simply say this is the product over the sum for R1 and R3, and this is the product over the sum for R2 and R4. That takes care of these four resistors. In addition to that, we can also draw these in parallel off on the side. This would be resistor R5, and this would be resistor R6. And notice, those can be, uh, those can be uh, we can find the equivalent resistance of those two as well. That means we can then make the equivalent circuit as follows. This would be A, this would be B. That this resistor is the equivalent of those two, this resistor is the equivalent of those two, and this resistor is the equivalent of those two. And then you just continue on. You know that these are now in series. You simply add those together. Then you end up with two resistors in parallel and so forth. Definitely, it doesn't always appear. It may appear, I should say, it may appear as if you need the Y to delta conversion or the delta to Y conversion. In this case, you do not want to do that. You would make a relatively simple problem into a more complex problem, and you can see that here it's not very difficult to solve the problem and it's the exact same circuit as we had over there without doing the delta to y conversion. That's why I call them imposters and be careful for them.